Hi, my name is Michal Lipinski and I'm an application engineer for ProConcrete Advanced Systems. In this video, I will show you how, how to start working with Pro Structures. Let's launch the software. So when you start Pro Structures, you will see this dialog window. Here, first thing we have to do or we should do is to set up a new project. Let's give it a name. And the description. What happened is that ProStructures created a new folder in projects folder and the whole structure for it where we have all sales data dgn libs and other folders for at our disposal including dgn folder and here in the dgn folder we will create a new file so here again we have to select a name for our model let's call it structural model and most important thing is to check what seed we are using for our model here you can see we're using USA Canada Imperial 3D.dgn. If you want to use any other, like metric, or if you're working with Ecosystem Building Designer models, here, if you click Browse, you can select other choices. Also, if you want to work with different localizations, you can go up and select the right one. We have Great Britain, New Zealand, Australia, so whatever you like, you can pick. I will just stay with Imperial 3D and save it this file. So now I can open my model. Okay, so this is our empty model that we have just created. The first time you open the software, you will be greeted with selecting the license dialog window. And uh, you can change that anytime you want by going to Q2 in ProStructures tasks or ProStructures setup license. And here you will find that you have three options. So you probably know this because you, this is the name of the software that you need to download. It's called ProStructures. But also you have two possibilities here. You can choose ProSteel or ProConcrete. So if you're only interested in ProSteel, you will select that. If you're only interested in modeling concrete and reinforcement, and that's the license you purchased, this is it. But if you want to use both, this is the one you need to choose. So I'm going to go and change it to Pro Concrete, and I need to restart before moving forward. So to summarize, Pro Structures is a combination of Pro Steel and Pro Concrete, and you need to select the right license that you purchased here um, in the program itself. If you would ever like to change the localization, which is a set of settings specified for a specific country or a region you can always go to pro structures q1 this is change localization and then pick the one that you want to work in you can also create your own one if you need to it's just a set of settings as i said for the specific region and please keep in mind that whenever you want to change one and you will pick a new one you will have to restart pro structures to make changes apply. Before we move on with modeling, we have to check one more thing. Here in Pro Concrete Tasks Q1, there is a rebar concrete code tool, which we will need to review before we start modeling. Here you see we have rebar codes, and inside we have rebar code ACI Imperial selected. We have, we have multiple different other, multiple other choices for us here as well. Um, for Imperial, that's the one that would be used. If you want to pick any other, you have to select it and set it as current. And this is gonna be the code that software will use when you will model reinforcement. It is a good practice to save this setting in the seed file. So if you go back here, 
and open the seed files in this file path, workspace, pro structures, localized, USA, Canada, seeds. You will find the seeds that we just discussed before. And if you open in any one of those, You can set the default and default and current code right in the seed file. So each time you create a new file based on that seed, it will already have those settings. That concludes the video. I hope it has been useful. In the next videos, I will discuss concrete modeling and reinforcement modeling. So stay tuned.